um, well, as you can see, we got another two boxes in the mail today, so let's just um, go ahead and open them. Okay? So, let's start with the small one. I already know what's in here, but I don't know any details because the pictures were kind of terrible. So, let's take a look. Come on, open. There we go. Ooh, that's more paper. <laughs> and, ah, yes. Now I can see. It's a fairly dirty but uh, original US canteen cup. There we are. I don't know if it has any markings yet. Um, there's nothing there. Maybe there's something on this handle. Can't see, but I don't really care. It was just 10 euros and I just needed one to complete my set. Um, anything here? Hmm, not really. No US marking anywhere. No, but uh, yeah, like I said, I don't really care. It was cheap and I just needed it for my kit. So let's assemble it. There we are. We just need to clean it up a bit and then we'll be set. Uh, no, I can't really see any markings, but it's stainless steel. Or is it? It could actually be aluminium too. I don't know, I'll have to see. Anyway, let's uh, carry on to this bigger package. It should be also more interesting. And a small canteen cup. As I'm using the box cutters now instead of the bayonet, they are just a lot sharper as you can see, which makes it a lot quicker to open this. If I were to just use the normal K90 bayonet. <laughs> there we are. Yes, that's loud. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Got another helmet. And it is ET66, so it's uh, I'm very relieved it's in that size, so I'll be able to make use of it. And because it's a 66 size helmet, it's also going to be. Well, there will be more demand for a helmet like that. So, yeah, as you can see, it's a. Fire department used helmet. Uh, it was a Norwegian reissue, which was then reissued to a fire department. So that's why the liner is this brown color. Also the chin strap, which is marked with something. Oh wait, that's a weird. No, it's that way around. A <laughs> Reichsbetriebsnummer. That's cool. See here. And um, yeah, ET66 3438 is the lot number, so it's a 1937 production helmet. The split pins are very loose, and um, yeah, so it was reissued to the Norwegians because it's this red color, and then it was reused by a fire department, that's why it's black. See if there's any markings in the leather, which is rotated wrongly, but doesn't really matter. Um, there's something. Let's see if there's anything else. No. See here, there's a... Wait. There we are. There's something there. It's not a marking I'm familiar with. But the leather is definitely original. The Norwegian replacements look different. So yeah, that's uh, also because the liner is just um, well, the pins are very loose in here. So it's a post war pin by the looks of it. Oops. Hmm. <laughs> Fairly hard. That one's original though. Let's take this one out first. Yeah. There's the markings on this one. Can't see, but uh, yeah, that's what they look like. Um, other one in the back. There we are. I can't see any markings on this one yet either. 
Oh yeah, there's one post-war pin and two original ones. This one actually has a washer, which is interesting. Yeah, can't see too. Oops. <laughs> Bend this, where's the pliers? <coughs> Come on. There they are. Well, that's why humanity invented tools. Why did they have to make it out of hard steel? What's the point of that? Yeah, no, I'm going to... Alright, so I was finally able to get it out, as you can see. And uh, let's take a closer look at the liner now. So, it's marked here. Let's focus first. 66NA58. As the olive painted um, leaf springs, it's olive green, grayish color, and it's marked B and C Litzmannstadt 1943. That's uh, also interesting. So this was made in the Watch um, Ghetto, probably by Jewish uh, forced labor, which uh, you know it's war. Uh, not very nice because it's, yeah, it's slave labor pr pretty much that uh, produced this liner but uh, yeah that's Germany in World War II but I'm not gonna get too much into the politics right now <laughs> that's a subject for a different type of video yeah that's the liner and the chin strap which is in very nice condition which is also marked and everything and uh, yeah and just a quick little update also on the canteen cup. As you can see, I cleaned it up now. Stainless steel, so it went very quickly. And it's dated. More just marked in general. Come on. US SMCO or SM Company 1944. So. of this just for um, focus first maybe yeah, that's uh, 25 euros for a complete US canteen so yeah that's it for this video though and I'll see you in the next one bye bye